continues. I had to turn off a chap who passed me. Just remind me of Jude Stewart. God, he'd look so much like him. Same height, same build, same age, even the same sort of clothes. Funny, first started coming towards me. I thought, God, that's Stewart. It wasn't, but God, it didn't look like him. Right, so what I'm doing. Feet are a bit wet, but I've uh, there's been nobody knees. I'm having to let my socks dry out a bit on the top. They're not too bad on the top. It's just around the feet, which might dry out. Um, hopefully, I don't really have to go in any more grass. It's early, see, nothing. The mist has been down. Nothing's had time to dry. But I know there was a seat somewhere along here. I'm going to have a little break and I'm going to... Uh, I've got banana and a bar of chocolate and an orange. Don't forget I've been up. I've only had one hour sleep all night. I'm like that. If I, I'm not on all walks, but when I know I've got to get a train or a bus or both, I always can't sleep. But I will make up for it. It doesn't matter. I'm really enjoying this, folks. I remember how lovely it was, this walk. <sighs> Don't forget, last time I went up Stout Hill and along the top towards Will's Neck. Now, somewhere along here, at some point, there will be a turn-in to go up to Will's Neck. Um, but I'm going straight on. The plan today for me is not to go up close to the quarry like I did last time. I, f I found it was all uh, it's all hit and miss how I, f I found my way out last time. There was no signs whatsoever and it don't seem to be any now. But basically I went up past the quarry up to Triscum Quarry and out through to Triscum Stone. But today I don't plan to go near Triscum Stone. I'm going to carry on towards this little hamlet of Triscum and then find another way up to the hills called Marrow Hill. So I'm hoping there will be signs when I go through that little hamlet. Now the other alternative I've got as well, but I don't know if I'll do it, is to walk on the road when I get to Triscum to walk on the road towards Crocombe. Go through the village, not up Crocombe Hill, no way, that's the worst hill there is around here. Um, they're all hills, it's all really hilly here. But, uh, and then go up a path the other side of Crocombe Post Office. There's a way and it'll take you to the hulls way post. That would be ideal if I could do that. Because the idea later in the walk is when I get to the Hull's way post, I might swoop round again like before. If I might go over the top, more likely over the top today, and try and find Paradise Coombe. <sighs> Paradise Coombe is the one just before Bicknollacu uh, on near Thorncombe Hill. Okay, Thorncombe Hill is opposite Weakham, Weakham Coombe Hill, and there's two Coombs. There's well, there's three. There's Weakham Coombe. There's a. a uh, a track you can go over the top, which I did last time, a few weeks ago. Then there's Bicknollacum, and there's Paradise Coom. So the plan today is to try and go down Paris and pass the. Oh, look, there's a sign! Quick, everyone! Yeah! Everyone shout! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, we're doing well, actually. We've done that bit. It's over. It seemed to take so long last time. Yeah, so go down Paradise Coombe. Go around these, 
special ancient barrows uh, and, and enter the big Noller area from another path. Now that is part, part of the plan, but I'm not quite sure of the Triscum to Crocum Road. It won't be, it's not a, it might be busy, but it's not a major road. Now once I commit to go into Crocum, if I decide that other route isn't feasible, I would have to be, I would be forced to go up Crocom Hill. <sighs> Someone's coming, I'm just going to put this trousers down again. And let them dry out again. I thought now. I saw a deer standing up there a minute ago. I'm not sure, it might not be a deer, it could be a it's not moving. It might be a trunk. Anyway, I met a bloke with two dogs. He seemed a nice, jolly f fellow. Um, I'm drying my trousers up now. My feet don't feel too bad. Um, I think if the whole of my socks were wet, it would be worse. I mean, it might creep up. But anyway, we're walking along this road now. Ah, lovely views. Lovely, lovely views, folks. Of the countryside here. That's what I remember before. I seem to be getting along quite well. And quicker than I thought. Okay, there was a few hold-ups. I had to go uphill and get my feet wet. But to avoid those big herd. Um... I had to walk around a maze field rather than get soaked walking through it because I would have been soaked if I'd walked through it. Um, but I mean, I passed the big house very quickly and I've got onto this track very quickly. And what I can remember, it's not that far along here that you turn off to go up the quarry. Um... But I'm, I am doing a bit more videoing again because I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do this time is highlight again some of the lack of um, signs. And then they do appear as well. I mean, you have to use your instinct and think, yeah, just go up there. I mean, that's what happened before when I ended up four years ago at this quarry. I did it by pure instinct. There was no sign to tell me to go up it. It was pure instinct to go up it. And I mean, at the moment, bits of this, bits of this walk are sticking out, right? Certain parts of it. The lovely scenes. The big house. Parts of the track. But this bit here, I can't remember any of it. This bit. With a cattle grid. No, nope, can't remember it. I remember that gate, because I was thinking, oh, that could take you on a wild goose chase. I kept thinking, oh, you know, where are there going to be some more signs soon? Because I, as I was, before the battery went dead, I was just pointing out that up there, up there, is Will's neck. Will's neck. Yeah, like I said, the good thing about these trainers is they do have sort of areas that, of cloth that dry out. But I think my feet will probably stay basically damp all day now. Ha ha! Greenway? Greenway? Huh. No, yellow sign. No greenway though. No greenway. I wonder if there's a greenway on the other side. No. Public footpath, no greenway. Did I miss the turn in, folks? Did I? Could have done. It's like I said, I can't remember that bit there. But I remembered the gate on the other side. And I started to feel that this was near Will's neck up there. 
I kept thinking, Will's Neck would be up there. And of course, what it was last time, I went further than Will's Neck and ended up on a pathway skirting the other side of the quarry. Now, the only good thing about doing that was that I wouldn't get wet feet. What's making me think about going up any tracks, other tracks, is that I might actually end up with wet feet. Do you see what I mean? Now I've got a feeling here is where I took the decision to follow a type of quarry route and not go down the road. I'm already at that point folks where I've got to make a decision now. Okay, I've got to make a decision now. There's a sign here. Uh, Greenway. That says Greenway, but does it mean go down the road? Or does it mean bear off? Which is the route I decided to take last time, but I'm not doing it today. There's also a path there. Now I think if you go up there, that would take you to Will's Neck. I am certain of it. Because that's this side of the quarry. Okay? I'm taking a risk going down now. I know I am. I'm going to go into the village. That's the way I went when I went up the quarry. I went up that path. But today I'm doing, I'm doing it differently. I'm going down a road. It could be a mistake. I could end up getting really wet feet, right? Later. Because the sun's not out full blast. It's not pounding the land. Unless there's some nice, good pathways. But sometimes you have to explore and take risks. So, by now I'd be following a track up there. Up and up. And I'd end up on a road like this in the end. The quarry road. That takes you up to Triscombe Stone. Okay? Oh, just heard the steam engine from Taunton to Mine Head then. Ooh, like that. Whistle. I heard that last time actually when I was about here. Right, I'm turning off. <coughs> right, beyond the trees there is a big hill. And it's called Marrow Hill. There's Big Marrow and Little Marrow. Um, we're coming to the hamlet of Triscombe now. Like I said, I've never been here before. I probably might have driven through it, but I've never walked here. I've got, and if you, hold on, if we just look through there. There's a big climb up to the hills. Through there, that's the sort of thing I might have to climb. Okay, so I've got a choice of either doing the climb up here and do the Marrow Hills, then join up with the drove. I've got that choice, or I can walk to, probably like this all the way to just um, Crocombe. God, look at that! That's a nice looking cottage, isn't it? Oh, it looks like a pub. That must be the pub then that they were saying about. Yeah, that's a pub. Let's take a picture. Right then, that is the way, but it's probably going to weave all in and out and everywhere to get over to there. So I'm decided to go on up. There's Will's Neck up there. I've decided to follow the actual Greenway path. And rather than follow the road, it doesn't matter. I can do that walk another time. I rather keep to familiar ground at the moment. Because to me, I'm walking away from the hills. <coughs> Here's the Blue Boar pub up here. Looks lovely. Right out in the sticks. Imagine what lovely times they have out here. Now, I'm going to go back. I just wanted to get my bearings, really. Um, but I reckon that's going to take me up to Triscombe Stone. I couldn't see another sort of track. Um, doesn't matter, it's good to get bearings. 
good to get bears. It might be full of cows and stuff if I tried something like that. <sighs> Look at that though. Look at that. A real old pub, innit? Over and out a minute. 